one like to live out here in this world, man. If you don't do it right now, then when you gonna do it? If you don't do it for nobody else, make sure you do it for yourself. Hey, if you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for hey, yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for hey, the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. If you ain't got nobody, do it, but then do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. Do it, do it for yourself. And when they start hating on you, tell them thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. Thank you, thank you for the hell. What is going on guys welcome back to the channel man in today's video we're gonna be assembling our 16 amp hour lithium headway bank man um i finally got my bus bars in and i finally got a little time to make it happen today if you haven't make sure you like comment share subscribe click that notification bell help grow and join this family man and at the end of this video if you found any type of value in this video man there's a button up under this video. Super thanks, man. If you found any type of value in there, you know, feeling courteous and generous, YouTube did put a super thanks button down there where you can donate to the channel. It's only if you're feeling courteous, man. I only got a little 16 amp hour bank, which is like eight sales or whatever, but I mean, I just, that's just my way of getting my feet wet because this is also my first time putting a bank together and I, Figured I'd go with a small one and then eventually order some more sales and I can build on to that. But yeah, y'all get the point. But other than that, man, it damn near 100 degrees down here, Alabama, man. Let me get out the heat. We're going to go in the AC and we're going to get this thing popping, man. Okay guys, so as y'all can see, these are my seals. And if you're wondering where I get these from, they actually come from uh, a website on Google called the Battery Hookup. And when I purchased these, they was going for like $5 a sale. So I figured it wasn't a bad deal to, you know, get your feet wet with this. DIY lithium stuff so they're used still so with them being used still the first thing you would want to do is get your voltage meter you know positive and negative and check all the voltages on them now as you can see each cell is individually is 3.2 volts individually what you want to do is make sure check all your voltages and make sure that is pretty close somewhere in that ballpark. If it's way lower, nine out of 10, you got a dead seal. Now all of them not gonna read the exact same thing on the voltage meter, which is okay. If they're all not reading the exact same number, don't be alone. You just have to top balance them. And when I, when I say top balance, you basically hook all your positives, all your positives up, all your negatives up. And they're gonna balance each other out, essentially. They're gonna pretty much balance each other out. You hook up all your negative, all your positive. Now you can get a piece of wire to do that, or if you have some bus bars or bus bar system, you can hook them all up in the bus bar system. Just make sure that they all, you know, negative, negative, positive, positive on that. Now, speaking on my bus bar system, as y'all can see, is project db they make some beautiful beautiful bus bars man on his website you can go in there and pick what size bank you're running 
and uh he got bus bars and stuff for whatever size you're trying to do it comes with the, everything you need to mount it and to hook your amps and all that up to it once you get it assembled and i got my 4s balancer off of uh, amazon it's a 4s balancer so before we start assembling this Make sure you're on the non conductive surface, man. They small, but they pack a hell of a lot of energy, guys. Try to do it on the non conductive surface, man. Okay, guys, quick note. If you go on a battery hookup and get some of these cells, they may come with some screws or bolts already in them. That's perfect, but if you get some Project DB bus bars, it's not gonna work, so. You're gonna have to use um you got to use these bolts that come with the project DB set for it to actually work and that fits straight down in there as y'all can see. Just a quick note, let me set the camera up so we can get the funny thing together. I just had to put that out there because if you're gonna be using try to use the ones that come already on it. And you get some of these bus bars these are not gonna fit down in that groove you're gonna have to use these that came with the uh, kit all right guys so as y'all can see we got two positives at the top two negatives at the bottom and all the thing you really need is a phillips head screwdriver and tighten them down they you don't have to over tighten them really don't take that much you know just hand tight with the screwdriver don't overdo it and that'll be way more than enough but we're gonna flip this over to the side and instead of having two positives at the top two negatives at the bottom it'll be two negatives at the top two positives at the bottom and then we'll repeat that same step on that uh bar and then we'll use our jumper bar which will probably go at the bottom of it or at the top and these are the side posts. This is where you mount your app. I mean, run your wire for your amp and all, whatever else you're trying to put it on. But let me get the other two put on there, guys. And uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, guys. So just like we did this one, that was the same. That's like some paint or something. It ain't broken. And like I said, the EU seal, they look like some paint. It's not cut or nothing like that. Right but as y'all can see, we got our positive right there, and we got our positive, two positive right here, two negative. We flip it over, two negative, and two positive, and vice versa on this side. And you can tell the difference, like with them, like this right here. You see what I'm saying? The one that's shaped like this right here, those are positive, and the one with the flat top, like this right there, those are negative. So that's how you can tell another way. But they both go together the same way, fellas. It's really not that easy. I mean, they're hard. You take one of your bars and you get your seal and you have two negatives on one row, two, two positives on one row, and vice versa on that. So if you had a bigger bank, it'll be the same process all the way down the line. And then you'll take your little jumper bars, which are go across like so it'll sit on top of both of them well not with the two positive it'll sit on top something like this it'll sit on top like that because see you got your positive and your negative and then you take these balls right here and they go on the ends like so and then basically you bank. In so many words, that's your bank. Uh, we basically just tighten them down and everything else, but let me finish assembling this for y'all and uh, show y'all the finished product. But it's fairly simple. I was intimidated, I'm not gonna lie, fella. But uh, like I said, I did my little research and I felt comfortable with tampering with it. And this is what we got. So let me put the rest of these screws in and I'll show y'all the finished product. All right, guys, and there you go. There's our whole bank. And like I say, there's not a puncture or anything. There's some kind of paint that came with them. Like I say, these are used cells, but 
They go out on uh, Phoenix Bank. And another good thing you want to do is be have a marker. Is go and mark your positive and mark your negative. Then when you want to get them twisted up, they go out negative. They go out negative sign at the top. Positive and then positive sign. Then when you want to get them twisted up, but this is the completed bank. Beautiful little bank. And Put it on the bonus meter guy reading 13.6. I think these can be charged at like 14.8, 14.8 or 14.6 or something like that right there. Get somewhere in that range, but that pretty much make it like the perfect 12 volt supplemental battery. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't wanna lie. I don't know much about these, so I can't really tell you how much it actually, how much power to actually hold so but i'm guessing getting a small bank man a thousand to fifteen hundred watt amp it'll probably handle those with no issues whatsoever you know what i'm saying because it, it's lithium bro like it's not agm power it's lithium so i'm pretty sure this little 16 amp hour bank would handle a thousand watt maybe even up to two thousand watt from anywhere from a thousand to two thousand watt it may hold it, especially if you got a high, high output alternator. You may be in the game, but I hope this video served y'all some justice, man. And I hope that y'all learned a little stuff. Like I said, fairly simple. You go negative. Well, you go, in this case, this positive, this bank positive, negative, positive, negative. And you basically just put your end caps on it, mark them so you won't get them mixed up. Yeah. That's it, fella. So, like I said, y'all leave a comment below, man. I know this probably ain't the best explanation of it, but like I say, I'm learning it. I'm learning just like y'all. So, uh, drop a like on the video, man. It's your boy, Bass at it. We are. Trying to get this cash up, wounded. I'm in a bag. Too many flex though, really. Y'all niggas sad. I can do what I want. I ain't got a brand. I'm trying to keep bringing pressure. I ain't trying to crash. Can't lie, bit five. Guess I'm on demon time. Trying to go 21. Guess I'm on prime time. She say I'm too special. I reply, big lies. Bitch won't Pandora me. Trying to do skirt time. I done went deep, died in the bottle of Henny Came out, I'm feeling bad tired Feeling my ego, check my steelo, got these niggas old man, I die You better come out this shit and go get you some money Can see all the hate in your eyes I speak and she look so surprised I told her I bless in the sky I'm on that gas pack, sitting on cloud nine I'm gonna get rich, woo, or I'ma die trying Sweet dreams that can start off as nightmares, yeah You can voice your opinion, but who really cares, yeah Niggas saying that I'm motherfucking been here before. Like I got a whole, like I got a whole soul, you know. We cool. Now that same dude back in high school, trials and tribulation had to make.